Please welcome the very lovely Julia Ormond, everybody. You look lovely. May I say, before we begin, how lovely your trousers are? Well, I, I yes, I bought them specially because I thought you would appreciate them. I, I do. I like it when you rub your hand against your leg like that as well. That, work, that works very nicely. <laughs> Shall I, I continue? Yeah, just yeah. keep doing that all the time. <laughs> now, you're in the, the curious uh, Benjamin Button case. That's about the... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's yeah. about, um, well, you probably know what it's about. You're in it. Yeah, it's Brad, Brad Pitt's in that. He ages backwards. And Kate. And Kate, yeah. I, do you know why I did that thing where I, I talked about her? Because I always think every time she's acting, Kate Blanchett, I know she's the greatest actress in the world, blah, 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 except for you. And <laughs> but every time she's acting, she's always touching her neck. It's like, a, I'm sort of acting like that. <laughs> Well, you should you should have her on the show because she's really she's, great and she's, she's a very Australian. smart cookie. She's oh yeah, very, very funny. No, she's fantastically talented. I wouldn't I wouldn't doubt that for a second. But she's a bit of a neck pointer, if you don't mind me saying so. <laughs> I'd just say I'd say if you're so smart, Kate, knock it off with a neck pointing. No more neck pointing. You didn't see Catherine Hepburn pointing at her neck. People knew where her neck was. <laughs> you don't point at your neck. Uh, you try not to. It's probably mm. not my best feature. No, it's lovely. Oh, but there's you. other bits that are great too. <laughs> what about... <laughs> I'm just trying to be nice. You, you, know, you know that movie that you were in, um, uh, First Night? Yes. Do you know that I nearly was in that movie? Oh, no way. Yeah. I, you know the part Ben Cross played? Yes. It was between me and Ben Cross, and guess who oh. got it? Were you not evil enough? Uh, I was evil back then. It was when you I was... Were yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm much more cheery and chubby now. I'm, I wouldn't be, <laughs> wouldn't work as a bad guy. But Sean Connery was in that too. I know. Did you have I a nice know. time with him? I had a fabulous time with him. I mm. totally adore him. He's and lovely, I, isn't know, he? He's really, really amazing guy. And one of my favourite lines that he had in the whole movie. And you do a really great Sean Connery impression. No, no, he actually comes in. And I don't do Sean Connery at all. <laughs> Sean very graciously comes in here and dresses up for sketches. Right, right. <laughs> Right, but he had this line, God bless him, where he had to say, um, yes, she is, isn't she? And, uh, That's you know, we yeah. we're sort of like, yeah, she is, isn't she? Yeah, yeah. Like, <laughs> like, yes. we have that again? Yes. Like, he's a wonderful, wonderful man. He's a real kid mm. at heart still. And um, He's Scottish, you know. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I didn't know that. <laughs> <laughs> and you're Scottish too. I, you're English, aren't you? I am. I'm sorry. No, that's I all right. I should start off by apologising for being English. No, you you probably knew you were English the whole time. Where do you where do you live? Where do you where do you uh, live in England? I don't. I live in Brentwood, which is in Los Angeles. Really? What? I do. Kind of like. Well, you've moved here then. That's it. Yeah. Oh, have you become a citizen? No, I haven't. But I have thought about it because around about election time, it feels that you know. A vote in America feels like it's about three in England, yeah. and you know. So, but I'm, I'm kind of because I know that I know. I that became a citizen. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's yeah. great. I did. I I did get put off by the whole thing of you have to bear arms. I kind of got through. No, the you can form. wear long sleeves. You're fine. <laughs> <laughs> I actually think I had a full jacket on when I was there. Really fine. I. I didn't, I, didn't want, I didn't want to bear arms because I've got a tattoo and people stare. Mm, right. um, but I kind of froze at that bit, but I really think I'm, I'm, I'm definitely considering it. Well, you're only asked to defend the country in the event that the country needs you to do that. They don't say, yeah. you know, will you have someone whacked for us. It's not, <laughs> it's not that. It's not like, you know, they want you to go out and, you know, it's nothing like that. It's just, <laughs> you know, should the need arise for you to defend your new homeland, would you do it? That's all. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you have to be very trusting in those decisions, yeah. Well, I, you know, I will be all right. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Listen, if it's down to I'm the last guy between America's enemies and America, we're in big trouble anyway. Yeah. <laughs> Well, or there me. you go. Like, a, where am I really these two show business really superheroes. Yeah, yeah, I know. 
No, we could show our bare arms to them. Yeah, we could have a bare armed attack. Yeah, no, that, that would get you know, We are the army of the bare arms. Yeah. I say, your arms are glittery. They are. Is that natural movie star glitteriness or? It's my inner essence coming out. All oh. movie stars have this. That's very, very, I've noticed it's that. It's not from a bottle at all. No, I've, I've noticed that when, when they're here, they're all quite shiny. Good, dear. Yeah, do you all live in the same house, you movie stars? Yeah, it's called Glitter Mansion. Glitter Mansion, how lovely. <laughs> <laughs> have you embraced the LA lifestyle? Have you become, you know, have you, are you in the Kabbalah and stuff? And uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, well, well I, I think of embracing it, but I love the fact that unlike today, most days you step out in flip flops and a t-shirt. I, yeah. I just, I love that. Yeah, no, that is just very, that. very, very nice. I, I wear flip flops and a t-shirt often. <laughs> Do you nothing else. Me, my flip flops, my t shirt, my telescope, I'm happy for hours. <laughs> <laughs> now, I want to ask you a rather serious question. You're, you're a, a goodwill uh, ambassador for the UN. Is for the UN? Yes. Right. Now, what Nations. does that mean? You mean you have to go on talk shows and, and be good natured? <laughs> and be good natured. It really means what they do is they, they bring people on board who could maybe have a media presence to represent to the public an issue. Right. And I'm the UN goodwill ambassador against trafficking and slavery. Right. And that, that still goes on? That does still go on. There's actually more slavery today than ever in history. Good Lord, I had no um, idea about that. Yeah, it's uh, our best estimate is 27 million people. So basically, slavery was made illegal, but then it just went underground. Wow, and, and where, where do you, I'm, I'm guessing, maybe this is wrong, but is it Africa that, that, that you're dealing with all the problems? Um, it really is global. It's really? absolutely It's absolutely everywhere, and I've gone on this journey of discovering slavery in all sorts of different parts of the world. I don't have to step out of Los Angeles to find people who have been victims. And the worst thing for me is that I know that it's in the products that I buy, and it's which, in which my products? home. It's in cotton, it's in cocoa, in chocolate, it's in coffee, it's wow. in steel. And it does but none of the, tend But none of the products advertised on the CBS network, clearly. No, uh, none, of, none of those. Anyway. Um, I feel, I feel much better if I can use whatever I have to fight it and try and move us towards a slave-free world. So I set up an organization. Can I plug my organization? Yes, absolutely. Okay, so um, people can go to www.assetcampaign.org. Assetcampaign.org. Oh, there it is. Yeah, yeah, right there. Uh, Asset Campaign or uh, Alliance to Stop Slavery and End Traffic. Yeah, okay. and you can help us And help not us traffic. You're never going to end traffic. It's LA. <laughs> But you know, trafficking. Yes. No, it's very important. I'm glad we talked about that. It, I, I find that quite shocking. Yeah. But, but thank you very much for coming on the show. And please come back and see us soon. You're very, very lovely. Thank you. All right. The lovely Love Julia you. Orman, everybody. We'll be right back. <laughs> <laughs> So, of course, I have to sit down yeah, and yeah, then right. do it, which is yeah, a little right, bit yeah. for me. Hi, good to see you. Good to see you. Like too. the clip. <laughs> that was something. That's, that movie looks very interesting. What's, uh, where can I see it? <laughs> you can see it at the Landmark Theatres. Oh, really? Um, it's also on pay-per-view pay at the moment. Really? I, I, uh, I'll have a look at it. What's that about? Is it about girls that go crazy? Um, men and girls who go crazy. Actually. Okay, okay. Um, but it's about some mass murders and oh, mass I, murders. Oh, I play an FBI agent who goes in to interview the witnesses or suspects and work out who's seen what, done what, and then where to go from there. So sometimes the interviews turn sexy. <laughs> Well, you'll have to go see the movie. All right, yeah, no, I, so I, I will do. Yeah, it's uh, it's fascinating. It's nice to see you again, of and course, you're... and you're still English. I keep forgetting when I see you playing the... And then there you are. Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> Although, as I, as I understand, my accent has gone a little bit wobbly. Your, your accent's my gone? My accent has gone a little bit wobbly. What, what, who's saying that? English people? Um, well, my mum often says that. That you're, you sound a little American? But, yeah, well, also, I think that. When I hear myself on the answering machine, I'm kind of like, who is that? Well, you know who it is, because you called your own phone, didn't no, you? No, I know, but it just... <laughs> it just sounds so weird. Well, I, I, cause I got a little bit of trouble in Scotland because they said to me that I, uh, that I had uh, lost my Scottish accent. <laughs> right. And I'm like, this is going to be news to the insomniacs of America who are convinced <laughs> that... Uh, no, I think I still sound exactly the same, but maybe not. No, I think mm. I sound a little bit weird, but I do find if I'm talking with somebody who's Australian, I start to slip into Australian or Irish or... I have a great or, cure for that. Ugh, I have a do. great... I do not talk to Australians. <laughs> Well, they come over with their, oh, mate, are you friendly? Oh, what's your pati- I don't talk to you. How are you doing? How have you been? You look very nice tonight, Thank by the way. You. May I say, do you have a stylist or something? It's all very chic. Um, I, ha my manager is all over me, Chris Proffer, and is really great about making me try and... Well, no, you look very, very Thank elegant. And, yeah, it's very nice. Do you enjoy Project Runway? I, that's where I get all I, my fashion ideas. I love Project Runway. I'm a big Tim Gunn fan. I love Tim Gunn. Yes, me too. Um, that works. I, I see. <laughs> that's, I need a Tim Gunn. I, I, I love Tim. I need a Tim Gunn. He was here, you know. He was, he's the only time all the staff, everyone in the staff was like, Tim Gunn's coming. We all dressed very well that day and everything. Yeah, it's very exciting. And I hear David Lynch, who is a producer on this movie, is a big fan of how you dress, too. Well, no, David Lynch, who is a, who is a very odd uh, human being, I think. Um, <laughs> I don't, I've never met him, but I've seen some of his movies. This is clearly, this is clearly a man. With We've had a difficult, taste. difficult, difficult, <laughs> difficult childhood, I think. Anyway, they... He, uh, but he has a list of best dressed people, and he mm -hmm. put he put me on it because he said my suits were too tight and I looked uncomfortable or something, and it, and he liked that. Maybe uh, he thought he had a difficult childhood. I, I I did have quite a difficult childhood, but well, I I don't think it was that difficult because um, it was the only one I had. Did you have a difficult <laughs> childhood? Well, likewise, it's the, uh, the the only one I had. Right. It's the only one I had. So. Where 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 did you have your childhood? In England. I had my childhood, yes, in England. In and was it, did you Sorry. follow trains and wear little dresses in the countryside and go, oh, <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Really? It's funny you should say Really? That. Yeah. Did you I have, actually to, had to cycle to school and, and in England at the time, we caught, I caught the train to school and in England at the time they had these separate carriages. We spent a great deal of time with our heads out the windows of the trains. That's and very dangerous. Climbing, <laughs> climbing in the racks and all sorts Climbing in the racks, of, you climbing say? Climbing in the racks, playing tag. <laughs> Climbing in the racks, playing tag. Yeah. Yeah. It was an all-girls school. Oh, man, this is... <laughs> right. um, <laughs> I don't want to get into any of that kind of trouble. Uh, um, what the... Uh, when did you come here, then? When did you come to America? Uh, about... Probably about 15 years ago. And I first came to New York and do, used to do a lot of back-and-forth... Um, to England and then moved down to LA about a decade ago. And you, you like LA then, right? You've settled here now. You've become one of our, you know, shallow type people that live here. Yeah. <laughs> Do you enjoy wheatgrass? I, uh, I, I tasted it once and thought if I ever taste this again, I'd rather, I'd rather cut off my hand than taste this again. I hated it. I'm not quite that far, but I used to really feel like I would never live in Los Angeles and now I love it and it took me but it took me living here for three months and realizing about the hiking and the beach and how you could actually have a life where somebody... there's hiking and a beach here <laughs> there it is. could you point that out to me through the window because I don't if you go that way yeah it... I don't know do you do you follow the sports here do you have the do you did you watch the Lakers and their big victory um I I didn't I have to confess no, I but don't I either. do no. I uh, I do like them and the game that I, I've only ever been to see one game and it was very very excited and um, the person I was with was sort of disgusted because I got excited and shouted goal goal uh, <laughs> At a basketball game, yeah. Yeah, good goal. Goal, go, excellent goal. Go. Top playing there, chap. Good out. Well done. Ha <laughs> ha. <laughs> well, that's rather lovely. No, that, I like that. that. I love the idea. Did you? Because that's what everybody who's uh, in show business goes to the Lakers, don't they? They all go and sit next to Jack Nicholson. 
Yeah. <laughs> you don't want to be sitting behind Jack Nicholson. You don't. Can't see, you know, you can't see. You sit behind Jack Nicholson. He's gotten he very tall? big. Oh, no, he's gotten very, uh, he's, you know, he's been laying off the wheatgrass. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I think a little bit, you know. Did you go a lot? I don't, I don't, I don't go to the Lakers, no. No, I can't afford it. <laughs> there is that issue. Yeah, it's very there expensive. It's, it's like 150 bucks a ticket or something, isn't it? I mean, what's that? You, 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 listen, I, you, I want more than watching a game of basketball for 150 bucks. I'll need some, I'll need some high-def porn for 150 bucks. <laughs> I've said too much, haven't I? I've, uh, I've revealed too much about myself. Anyway, this movie looks very good. I, I'm very excited for you. And, and, and thank you for uh, coming back on the show. The lovely Julia Ormond, everybody. We'll be right back. Buzz going Are on you, for your It's nice to hear from you. Thank yeah, you. No, it, I'm obviously not keyed into <clears throat> the bzzz. No, it's, uh, it's, it's actually, I saw this, uh, Tim, it was very, very uh, moving and, and oh, lovely performance. I will be voting for you in the Emmy category of best person in the world. <laughs> it's best Thank actress, you. isn't it? I, well, it's, it's, a, it's a supporting role, so... Right, but there I put you is. down for best actress. I, would, okay. I, I'd like, I scored out supporting and moved it up to the... <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, it's all right. I, yeah. I think I did. <laughs> I don't know that I voted. No. Well, Has the voting never, happened yet? I have no idea. Right, okay. I have no idea. <laughs> do you, I probably do you, should know. Yeah, you probably... Do you want an Emmy? Um, I, you know, I've... That's such an interesting question. Um, they happen every now and again. They yeah. happen every now and again. I guess I would, yeah. I would, Be nice, I would it? Yeah, Nice Emmy. win an award. I actually, I have an Emmy for producing a documentary. No way. From, from way back called what? Calling the Ghosts. But Calling it the would, Ghosts? Yes. What was that about? It was another heavy subject, which is great for your late night show. Yeah, but, it's all right. You know, um, listen, they, you this know. audience think the idea of seeing Stevie Wonder is depressing, so... <laughs> Yeah, you, know, you can't bring them any lower. It's fine. Well, it's not a comedy documentary, but um, I think there's always something about the awards that, you know, kind of, it's nice to be humble about them, but yes, I'd really no, love you, to you, get no, something you, for my acting. It would, no, be it would be phenomenal. nice. You're good at the acting. It would be phenomenal. Yeah. Thank you. No, you are. You're Thank very good. You. Every time you're acting something, I'm like, well, that's, 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 that's awesome. <laughs> How are you doing another way? Aren't you from somewhere near Glastonbury? I'm from Surrey, which always sounds like sorry. Surrey is where I went to rehab. <laughs> it's true. Well. Yeah, so there was a lot of sorry in Surrey when oh, I was there. Uh, Whereabouts in Surrey were you I went to a rehab? place called Farm Place, which was right next to uh, Gatwick Airport. Oh, right. Yeah, so it is. So was that a tempting, like, flea point when you were what, there? To run to the airport? Run to the airport, yeah. you know. No, I'd like to leave, please. Get what was there. interesting, though, is it was on the final approach to right. Gatwick, so I would be, like, going, oh, 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 like that, and then I thought, I'm having the DTs, but it wasn't. It was just jumbo jets landing. <laughs> and then you, then you start to get better. <laughs> ah, all right, I had the DTs. <laughs> you ever been to rehab? No. I've been to Gatwick. You've been to Gatwick Airport? Yeah. But Are you going to Glastonbury for the festival? No, I'm not. My mum likes to go. Does she really? Yeah. Does she go to the... She enjoys rolling around in the mud? She's never shared that aspect with me, but I can see her doing it. Right. Is your mother an eccentric woman? Yes. Well, she's English. Yes, I know. The English women, as they get older, tend to go a little bonkers, actually, don't they? <laughs> they tend to. I mean, it's charming. They go, they start off the, oh, they're terribly lovely, and then oh, they go, oh, let's all make paper hats. You know, yeah. they're, they're kind of... We ha yeah, yeah, yeah. they're kind of, the more tweed yeah. they wear, the crazier yeah. they become. Especially with recycling. Now recycling, and there's lots of paper hats. <laughs> yeah. So, Emmy Buzz, then, eh? Yeah. <laughs> 
I hear you're going to the Bahamas. I, I am going. I'm going to the Bahamas this weekend. I know you're going to shark it. dive this weekend. Yeah, yeah. You ever been there? Crazy. Yes, I have. For the Bahamas? I have. I've shark diving? The, you ever been shark diving? I went um, spear fishing when I was very young, and you're supposed to watch people when you're out there and you're doing it. Watch for people getting back in the boat because that means you're supposed to get back in the boat. So everybody was getting back in the boat. I swam after them. They tried to haul me aggressively into the boat. I got annoyed, mm. pushed off, dived under the boat came up the other side and said, so why aren't we going? And everybody said, well, if you'd like to go down and get the anchor with the shark, you're welcome to. And I'm like, the, the, There was a shark There was the a shark yeah. and they'd watched it swim in behind me. I'd pushed back into it. Right. It followed me under the boat and it hovered while I got in the other side. And it was about six foot long. And so my swimming from then on was just swiveling in 360 degree yeah, circles, yeah, circles trying to because the, the Bahamas water is very clear and I didn't see anything or feel any danger. Well, so good I'm, luck. I I'm, hope no, that I'm you wearing have a really the, I'll be wearing time. the shark outfit. Yeah. yeah. Well, <laughs> so then maybe you'll be mating with other I'll be sharks. I'll dressed as a shark. I'm not sure. Yeah. I'm, not, I'm not sure that that's I would do plan. that. Well, that's my know. plan. They'll be like, oh, it's just that's another shark. Plan. I'll be like, hey, what's up, buddy? Hey, hey. <laughs> Working hard or hardly working, eh? I just swim back. <laughs> So you're going to contact Sean when you're out there? Sean, uh, Sean, Sean Connery, he lives in the Bahamas, he doesn't does, he? I'd yeah. be too frightened to contact him. He's oh, like, don't be silly. No, he's like a shimmering god to oh, me. Oh, don't be silly. No, he is. He is. He's fantastic. I love Sean Connery. Do you still keep in touch from that movie? You every, every now and again. Do you get a phone call? Hi, it's Joey Sean. He's so sweet. He's lovely, He's isn't he? really, I really sweet. Yeah. He wasn't really interested in me. He wasn't? He was looking at my wife's boobies. <laughs> Can't say as I blame them, they're very pleasant. You know, so he was like, oh, Craig, nice to meet you. Hello to you. <laughs> He's nice, though. She was like really blushing great. and everything. I was like, so was I. I was like, oh, so uh, Well, next time you could wear boobies. What do you mean next time? I was I mean, wearing it, boobies. It, he was it, just it, looking at no. us. <laughs> well, we're done then. <laughs> Do your audience ever just like talk amongst themselves? Or they they during the monologue. Oh. Yeah, they talk amongst themselves all the time. <laughs> they talk about Stevie Wonder. <laughs> Apparently they don't know who he is. <laughs> so, there you go. Valley. It's awfully comfy here. All right, stay there. Julie Ormond, everybody. Move around. This is very good. I love jeans and high heels. Sparkly. On women too. It's a lovely look. It's very good. How are you? I'm great. This I'm... show looks very good. It's, it looks like uh, you're a witch and he's a singer-songwriter? Yeah. <laughs> uh, he's a warlock, which is a witch with a... It's Penis. A... Yes. Well, that's what it is. It's a male, male yeah. witch, isn't it? A warlock? Yeah. I yeah. wasn't going to say penis, but as you said, well, you just I said it now, haven't you? Say penis, but I didn't know that you were allowed to say penis on the show, so. Well, you're not, unless you're an Emmy winner. Do you? Um, <laughs> well, there you go. There are certain privileges. That's right. You get so, that when you get the award. To getting the statue. Steady. Okay. okay. <laughs> so you're you're a witchy then in this. You have uh, what's your secret powers or majesty then? What do you do? Yeah. <laughs> Um, I'm cursed. Oh. Like, my secret powers are healing and killing. <laughs> and ratcheting. That's not really a power, secret power. That's just being a jerk. Not very yeah. serious. <laughs> That's being a politician. Right, well, kind yeah. of, yeah. So, so you, um, you... And I'm, and I'm immortal unless somebody kills me. <laughs> uh, do they have to kill you in a special way with, like, a guitar or something? Yeah. Kill me with kindness. Oh. Yeah, yeah. It's like beating you with love. But like beating you with love, yeah. right? Exactly so. And I'm not sure. I haven't asked yet, but I'm 
I'm hoping that I'm going to ease out organically. Was that one? <laughs> very good. Awesome. Very good. Very good. <laughs> very, very good. It looks very nice there. Where do you, uh, where do you make this thing, then? Do you make, that's not we, L.A. No, we make it in Vancouver. Oh, it's lovely up there. It's absolutely Ooh, it's lovely. gorgeous. It's full of lovely in Canadians. And they're, mm. What's the matter? The snake drawing your eye here? What's going on? <laughs> Fascinated by the cat. No. Mm -hmm. No, Vancouver's Ladies great. Ladies love the old snake. <laughs> <now>. Canadians <laughs> are great. No, they're lovely, the Canadians, aren't they? Mm. Very nice. Yeah, I enjoy their company. <laughs> You enjoy the company of Canadians? Then? I do. Yeah. I had a funny incident. I got stopped speeding by the Canadian police, and it was very um, on the way to work. It was either be 45 minutes late or go in the bus lane. Yeah. And well, the Canadian police, they were so earnest. They were really upset. Well, you really shouldn't have been speeding there, eh? No, oh, I know. come on. I mean, I, you know, I know. No, we're really was, upset. You they convert were somebody. They genuinely angry yeah. and upset instead of kind of jaded and. Well, you know, I, good fair play to them, I say, because speeding is a terrible yeah. thing. I get very angry at that. You don't uh, speed around. I like to drive. Getting caught or. You get angry at speeding. No, I don't go. I, I don't speed anymore. I like to get in my uh, minivan and uh, <laughs> I drive about five <laughs> miles an hour below the speed limit. Mm. <laughs> People love me for that. Right, yeah. Yeah, you can drive with my mom. Are you a very aggressive driver then? Is that what we're saying? I think I've got a little bit of road rage that I possibly should deal with. Well, you know what, let's deal with it then. Now let's have okay. a look at where they are. Let's have a look at where let's the anger is. You, <laughs> you got residual anger? What do you feel? I mean, because it's not about the road, let's be honest, is it? It's not about that. Uh, well, the, no, I think it is. I think it's, it's, uh, it's not great driving. No, I think it's about being a control issue. I think you don't like not being in charge. I think you're very alpha personality. That's what it is, isn't it? No, I think I'm just often late. <laughs> well, there's a different thing. That's passive aggressive. Being late? Oh, absolutely. But I try and get there fast by speeding. Yeah, well, you've got so a I'm complicated mix of two problems. Yeah. yeah, it's my first day as a therapist. I'm not sure. Ah. <laughs> but it sounds to me like you've got two things. You've got your passive aggressive and the other one. No, it's not good. It's not good. It's, it's not. not. Good. Well, you should do something to deal with your anger. Don't you do any uh, uh, Pilates or something? I try. I t no, I'm a witch. I t kill people. <laughs> yeah, that's in the TV show. <laughs> You're not actually allowed. No, to... but it's in my work. It, like, it, I, oh right, you know. I see what you mean. Yeah, you deal yeah, with I, your emotional in, strife yeah. in your emotional nature of your job. Kind of. Okay, I quite like that idea. <laughs> yeah. How about it's... you? No, I don't have any emotional strife. <laughs> 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 anyway, we're out of time. Okay. Want to do an awkward pause or um, yeah, you want to dance? Want to dance a little bit? Are you awkward? Oh, you're in the awkward pause already. I'm sorry. All right. Is that more British than a funny dance? What, an awkward pause? Oh, yeah. Well, an awkward pause in Britain is just like a regular pause in America. <laughs> it's like a pinter pause. Yeah, oh, a pinter pause. We don't have time for a pinter pause. These things are about four <laughs> minutes long. Do you ever go and see Harold Pinter in the theatre? Um, I did. Yeah, I did. I did you ever done any? with him. You did? Um, something. We worked on an adaptation together and he was an amazing, amazing man. We, I, was it The Homecoming by any chance? No, we worked on a script that never saw the light of day. But oh, that never happens happen. usually. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he, um, no, he was fabulous and amazing. I went to see a Pinter play once. Pinter, if you don't know, is a playwright and, and he's, he does very long pauses. When you're in the theatre and you don't know what's going on, you're like, has everybody stopped? <laughs> but, but, but that could just be the acting. Yeah, no, Because, you see, in real life, there's a pause. There was a little pause in there. There was a little pinter pause in there. <laughs> <laughs> see, what we're doing now is pinter. Yeah, it is. And yeah, you thought it was just me uh, filling time between commercials. <laughs> <laughs> and in a way, it's both. <laughs> anyway, we're out of time. All right. Oh, well, it's nice to see you. Nice to see you too. <laughs> so, uh, there we are then. Why do you keep doing that with your finger? Um, it's it's got a little nothing, nothing. It was just filling in the pause. Anxious. With your finger. An anxious. Anxious. <laughs>
We didn't really have a feud, though. They made it up in the tabloids. And I, Katie Couric's my friend. I like Katie Couric. We ah. t- talk all the time. We have sex nearly every day. <laughs> All right, the last bit isn't true, but I was just, you know, I was adding it on for a show business effect. <laughs> I really love you.